The small Belgian town of Bray is home to the Garretts Company, which has made a name for itself over the last 20 years as a designer and builder of industrial halls. Many of the company's customers hail from the neighboring countries of France, Holland, and Germany. To meet the growing need for prefabricated metal parts, Garretts recently erected a new production line equipped with a blasting unit, as well as cutting and drilling stations. The metal profiles blasted in this hall are cleaned to BSA 2.5 cleanliness standards and are then cut to the specified size and then drilled and marked as required. The unfinished profiles, which have a wide range of dimensions and cuts, are unloaded in the hall from a truck or lorry directly next to the roller conveyor. The workpieces enter the processing procedure at the first crossover station. The control panel in front of the blasting unit is the link between the delivery process and the actual blasting procedure. But because the transport speed is also a part of this process, the roller conveyor is actually a part of the blasting unit. The Octos blast unit processes the profiles continuously. The entry vestibule is 1,540 millimeters wide and 600 millimeters high. Multi-layered rubber curtains seal it off very reliably. Workpieces pass through the blast unit at processing speeds ranging from 0.5 to 2.5 meters per minute. A switching threshold detects the presence of the workpieces and automatically starts the turbines. Each of the four high-performance turbines is rated at 15 kilowatts, and the turbines are arranged at staggered angles above and below the blasting zone. The metallically clean workpiece surfaces are achieved using steel shot with sizes ranging from 0.9 to 1.2 millimeters. After blasting, we see the workpieces leave the exit vestibule in perfect dust-free condition. The roller conveyor continues into the hall until the maximum workpiece length is achieved. In order to create a buffer zone for subsequent processing, a crossover station the width of the hall was installed here. Workpieces can now be fed to the petting house equipment with the appropriate cycle times. Let's go back a few meters and look more closely at the process steps that produce this result. From the outside, we can see the blasting turbines located above and below the blasting zone. But it is only through the maintenance opening that we get a good look at the heart of the unit. The blasting chamber is made of highly wear-resistant manganese steel and is additionally equipped with exchangeable anti-wear plating in the blasting zone of the turbines. The dusty air is extracted and the blast media is returned to the process loop by a hopper and screw conveyors. The conveyor rollers are completely protected and the bearings and drive unit are located outside the blasting cabin. After leaving the first exit vestibule, the profiles pass through a blow-off and brushing station. The working height of the rotating brushes is set according to the dimensions of the workpieces currently being processed. The surface is made free of dust with the help of a transverse row of blow-off nozzles. Meanwhile, a bucket elevator transports the blast media to the cleaning station located on top of the unit. An air classifier sends a horizontal flow of air through the fine veil of blast media, which removes the dust. After screening, the recycled steel shot falls into the blast media hopper. By using a fan to create a significant amount of negative pressure, dusty air is fed to an Octos cartridge filter. The filter is dimensioned for airflow of 10,000 cubic meters per hour. With the help of an additional safety filter, residual dust content is reduced to less than one milligram per cubic meter of exhaust air, making it possible to return the air to the processing hall. The fine dust that is removed using a differential pressure control system is collected in this rubbish bag. All of the unit's process parameters can be called up from the Siemens SPS control system, but because control of process steps is automatic, the operator need only concentrate on the flow of the workpieces through the unit. Let's take a closer look at the workflow of the petting house equipment 
starting with the 1270 DGP bandsaw. Because the first cut of the unfinished profiles is seldom suitable when they are delivered, every workpiece receives a new clean cut when it first enters the unit. Compatible with the Octos blasting unit, the unit can process workpieces with widths of 1,250 millimeters and heights of 500 millimeters. A safety light barrier was installed around the unit in two planes and this prevents access to moving parts during the active processing phase. The operator uses the part number to display the workpiece on his screen and can call up the planned processing steps from the control system. Because structural parts are produced here, bore holes must be drilled using a wide range of axes. For this purpose, Garrett's installed the Peddinghaus BDL 1250 drilling center. The cut profiles arrive here from the bandsaw and are automatically registered by the measurement unit. The unit also saves time in other important ways. Instead of tool changes, the system uses proven nine spindle technology that immediately makes available any planned drill diameter. All three of the work axes are active simultaneously if so required. The drilling process itself uses patented smart technology too. In this system, the Peddinghaus tools travel very quickly to the workpiece, automatically detect the contact with the workpiece surface, switch to drilling speed, automatically register penetration, and then also withdraw at high speed. For this particular process, the system control unit processes feedback data from the intelligent drill spindle motors made by Siemens, including data about the actual RPM rate of the drills, their rotational position, and the drill torque. Users hit the proverbial nail on the head when they say, we're no longer drilling into thin air. The seconds saved in this way add up to a tremendous savings in overall time over the course of a workday. Workpieces are also handled to the highest standards. After every feed motion, seven hydraulic clamps and holders are used to ensure that every processing step takes place under absolutely stable conditions. All of the necessary process steps are stored in the Siemens NC control system and are transmitted along with the part number to the drilling center. This method of controlling process parameters also protects the drills because processing is always performed under conditions of optimal feed control. At the conclusion of this step in the work process, the workpiece is quickly marked so that the correct application can be immediately recognized. And this code can still be clearly read after coding takes place. We hope that this look at the process at Garrett's has shown you that Octos blasting units and petting house machining centers make for a very strong team. How can we help you with your blasting and machining needs? Chances are good that you may also decide to expand your company one day with a haul made from Garrett structural components. When you do, consider contacting the subsidiary that can lease you the appropriate work platforms necessary for the assembly process.